quad 66. Uh, in this part, what I'm doing is taking some data actually from drone mesh. This is some thrust data, and I'm uh, plotting it here with uh, in, in a slightly different way in order to visualize it in a way that I think is a little bit more useful. And so I'll in down below in the in the description there's going to be a link to the original drone mesh post where I extracted data from, and then also pop up this spreadsheet um, so that you can tinker with it. Uh, and put in some of your own assumptions. So essentially what Drone Mesh did is he tested a bunch of motors, uh, full speed 1103, a Flywoo 1103, Happy Model 1102, uh, Flywoo 1103 in a lower KV, and then also tested a couple of these on 3S. Um, the others he tested on 2S, and on all of them he tested it with a 65 millimeter um, Happy Model Cell Fly prop. And when you test it, you test it at a couple different ESC values in terms of like whether it's 50 or 75 percent or 100 percent thrust, and then um, you recorded the uh, grams of thrust. So what I do, did to make this uh, for myself a little bit more useful of a comparison is I kind of made sort of a virtual, okay, if we had four of these motors on my all-up weight, how would it perform? And so the way I did that is over here I can input a dry weight without the motors and then I uh, over here you can input what is um, 1s for a battery so for example if your two cell battery weighs um, 16 grams then 1s of that would be 8 and then for the different motors I put in the weights of, and you can see the range here for the happy model is uh, pretty low at 2.8 and then up to 4.1 for those uh, flywoos and then I calculate out then how much um, thrust uh, you're going to have in terms of uh, grams of thrust to weight ratio and so those are the numbers over here and then I plotted those where you have the um, amps, amp drawn um, on the x-axis and then on the y-axis you have your uh, thrust to weight ratio so is it you know 1 to 1, 2 to 1, uh, 10 to 1, etc. And I think this yielded some pretty interesting results particularly for the Happy Model 1102s um, versus the Flywoo 1103s in the um, 8,500 kV and 7,600 uh, kV, uh, respectively. And so, and, and this is also my assumption, this is a very light all-up weight, so you can see with the Happy Model motors, my all-up weight is uh, 49 grams, and then with the Flywoo motors, they'd be a little bit heavier at like 54 grams. And so, then you can also turn on or off these um, the different motors so you can visualize uh, different motors but anyways the first one I want to start with is is these two and so um, in the purple is the Flywoo 1103 uh, 7600 kV and Happy Model um, 1102s and 8500 kV and what you can see is they, they both end up in a pretty similar place so in terms of the at max uh, punch out the Happy Models get you at uh, 6.8 to 1 and then the flywheels get you a little bit higher, 7.3 to 1. And the flywheels will do that, drawing a little bit more amps than the happy model. So up the top, you can get maybe a little bit touch more punch out of the flywheels, um, but um, not that much more than, than the happy model. And the interesting thing is down low, there's a little bit of efficiency gain going with the 1102 motor. So um, on those happy models, where you're going to be at um, hover, which is going to be 1 to 1 down here, you can see the Happy Model has a little bit better efficiency as drawing a little less amps as compared to the Flywoos. Um, but then as you come up higher, then they kind of merge together where the efficiency is essentially the same. And obviously this doesn't tell you how these things actually you know, feel in the air, how well they control uh, the prop and, and things like that. But it should at least give you a sense of you know, getting you into the ballpark of you know, where do you want to be in terms of uh, thrust to weight ratio uh, versus versus efficiency and you can you can see how this this is useful for example if you're like if you want to make the assumption that yeah that's just not enough um, uh, thrust I want more thrust what can I do to get there so one option you could do is take those flywheel motors and you can drop them in with the 11,000 kV and now you can see you can get to uh, far higher thrust so this gets you at 9.5 almost 10 to 1 um, uh, grams of thrust to weight ratio but you know, there's a big caveat here that's going to be drawing a ton more amps. And so, in my case, you know, with the, with the, I'm trying to fly these on a 300 milliamp battery, uh, this amount of 
amps drawn is, is probably going to be pretty detrimental to the lifespan of those uh, batteries and they'll probably sag out pretty bad. So, um, And then down low in the range where you're realistically going to be flying most of the time down here, um, you can see with the 11,000 kV uh, motor you're going to give up just way too much efficiency for it to be worthwhile. Um, on the other hand, if we drop in here this full speed 1103, 11,000 kV motor, you can see we, s we don't get quite the same uh, level of all out performance in terms of the full punch out. You're down at, um, it's still pretty good, 8.4 uh, to 1 on the punch out. But you're not giving up nearly as much efficiency as compared to those Flywoo um, 1103. And so um, you can see down low, it's, uh, it's pretty similar between the full speed 1103, 11,000 kV and those Flywoo. Um, 7,600 kV, and then um, there's a little bit drop off in efficiency, and but it keep the motor will keep pulling, you know, being uh, the higher kV, and so that you know motor maybe may be interesting to you if if that's what you're kind of looking for. You're willing to give up a little efficiency for a little bit more top end. Then the other thing that this I thought illustrated was pretty interesting was when we go ahead and pop over from 2s and jump up to uh, 3S. So it's like, all right, well, with those super light motors, with those 11, 1102s, you know, do we, do we just kind of like keep adding on to them? And, and the answer is no, according to this thrust data, where, which you can see, so now the, the happy model 1102s on 3S are this blue line, and the flywoos are in that orange line. And um, there's maybe a kind of funny little wiggle in the data, but, um, and maybe there's some noise there, but what you can, what you can see here is that um, down low, you know, you're going to have pretty similar efficiency, but then as you really kind of get into the upper ends of the power spectrum, you're going to pick up quite a bit of performance with both motors, but that um, Flywoo 1103-7000 um, kV is just going to handle that voltage and that power um, better than the Happy Model. Uh, you can see in the Happy Model when you're um, pulling up here, Yes, you do get more from going to 3S, but you could get um, a whole lot more performance by dropping in that uh, Flywheel 1103 7000 kV motor. And so based on this data, I think this type of data really, you know, it's not going to answer what is the right motor for you, but it, you know, with, with the amount of motors that are popping out onto the scene, it, it may help you get a little closer to understanding which motors are at least the good candidates, which ones are the ones you should try particularly if you're interested in different things like whether you're trying to go like I do super all you know ultra light 2s or are you flying a heavier quad with 3s and you can pop in those different you know, assumptions here and kind of see you know theoretically if this pans out the way um, you know they suggest what it's going to look like and which which motors might be worth looking at for you so um, he did indicate in the post that it uh, looks like he's going to try and test some more motors. Um, hopefully we get to look at those. Like you mentioned, the AMAX 1103s with the 7,600 kV. Um, and there's a bunch of different ones out there, and so maybe this will kind of help narrow down the field. Uh, one of the tough parts here is that you can't compare across. Um, so for example, like GEPRC um, has some thrust data, but their um, assumptions that they're putting in are uh, so different that you can't really compare it to uh, the data. So, you know, you, you need kind of this, the same setup to to compare. Um, you can't like cross different setups because it's, you know, the, the setup you have for the thrust testing is going to make so much of a difference that you can't just jump back and forth between uh, different test setups. Um, yeah, so if, if we do find some more data, I'll do more of these videos and put them up and help you visualize and see what may or may not be useful. Until next time, cheers.